in instances where chemotherapy and radiation have continually failed certain cancers for a century, immunotherapy has been able to do greater than that in just 10 years. There is almost a moral imperative to make this simple yet important biological reprogramming available to cancer patients today who don't have time to wait for trials tomorrow. I was first diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer in June of 2020. I was first diagnosed with metastatic neuroendocrine cancer. I would like to see my son get married or be a grandmother. At stage four, you don't know how much time you have. I was originally diagnosed with breast cancer. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Stage four melanoma. I maybe had two, three months left of life. I mean, I, I couldn't walk. I remember just, just being in tears. It's like I'm getting choked up now because it's really hard to talk about. The Gleason was a mix between, you know, eight and nine. So it was a pretty aggressive prostate cancer diagnosis. I was initially diagnosed with advanced pancreatic cancer when I first found out about it. He put his affairs in order. I was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer, which is often a death sentence. Okay, so like what's the next steps? You know, I don't know who to go to. Almost by definition, one of the major problems with cancer is immune ignorance. We have cells designed to take these burgeoning cancers out, and they usually work. So if you're at the point where you're at the doctor and they're telling you that they see cancer, something's gone wrong. The discovery we made, you need to actually get the cancer proteins being made inside the dendritic cell at the same time it is engulfing the cancer proteins on the outside. This is how our immune systems normally fight a virus. So we have cells like killer T cells and natural killer cells that can find these virally infected cells and they induce their death before the lysis happens, before the burst. This is the immune response you want if you wanna get rid of infected or mutated cells. And that's what we use in this anti-cancer treatment. It's special because it's personalized medicine. It takes the tumor from each patient and the unique antigenic information that it has uh, into something really special and specific for the patient. When we double load, we take a patient's own tumor sample and we break it down to its entire genetic component, specifically the messenger RNA, which encodes for everything that the cancer cell is and or could be, and that's important. We also isolate and purify the entire current protein expression file of the tumor. And we take that information and we load that mRNA into the dendritic cells at the same time, feeding it the proteins on the outside. The cells are obtained by leukapheresis. This is a process where the patient is connected to a machine. We only get the white cells. We culture them uh, for about six days until they are uh, immature dendritic cells and then on day six, we activate them and expose them to the tumor RNA and proteins. By hitting both this inside out and outside in pathway, we give the dendritic cell the chance to compare what's being expressed in, in both directions. And that comparison leads to the recognition that these are the same things. This is how I would see a virus. This is how I would see a threat that we need to eliminate it. They know all of the antigens, all of the proteins being expressed by that cancer, and that's what they're gonna to communicate to the rest of the immune cells, like the T cells and the natural killer cells. And so you, you really need all of that information to get a wide-reaching immune response. If you have a science that can change the way we treat cancer, then it has to be protected and it has to get to the clinic correctly. And the first way we've been able to do that aside from the regulatory trials is with immunocene here in Cancun. We can offer this to a variety of cancer patients right now that need this and could benefit from this. I have four children and they said, mom, you know what? You have fought everything for everyone your whole life, get on it. I was not content with a stable cancer. I wanted 
to have zero cancer. With the dendritic cell therapy, it went from 30 tumors to zero, just like that. I just celebrated my 40th birthday back in February 6th, and that's something I'm pretty proud of because I, I truly didn't think I'd make it to Christmas. There was no active cancer. It was all necrotic tissue. I feel normal again. I feel like I could do anything I used to. I was given a second chance, so I'm not gonna waste it. People need to know that this process is here, and it really works because it can save a lot of lives.